know who I am. I doubt she's cast more than a cursory glance in my direction all the time we work together. Yeah, I love her. I really do. And an old few are together then. What's the point? We'll never be together. Why on earth would she want to be with somebody like me? I don't know what to do. those who commit the ultimate crime. No, Mary Vale. This is no holiday. You're going to Disneyland. The Magic Kingdom is not all sunshine, lollipops, and talking animals beneath it. There's a seething underbelly. But why not stay here, John? Why not help me out? We are partners, after all. Spread your knowledge of love to those who need it the most. Love? I haven't loved since the day my wife died. Have I told you about that day? The day that John Cliché's love died forever? Repeatedly, John. It was a day, not unlike today. <laughs> Except I was happy. And it was nighttime. And my wife was alive. And I was in America. Get to the point, John. My wife was brutally gunned down as we left the house to go to our movies by a mysterious figure. That is, the, my wife was going to the movies with me, not the mysterious figure. John Cliché does not associate with murderers and assassins. <laughs> she was shot down in the back, but bullets no doubt meant for someone else. The police investigation turned up nothing, so I threw in my badge and started. John, 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 are you sure I can't get you to stay? No, Mary Vale. From that day, I swore to fight crime, never let injustice go unpunished. You know, there are crimes other than murder. What? Yes, there are all sorts of crimes out there. Assault, fraud, tax evasion, parking on double yellow lines, being drunk in a pub. Being drunk in a pub is a crime. Apparently. All right, Mary Bell. You win. I won't rest until I brought those booze hounds to justice. <laughs> if you want me, I'll be in the Drake. Introducing those fiendish rummies to the law. <laughs> Cliché style. So, only nine in the morning, John. I 
Excellent. I have time to prepare. This will take all my strutting and cutting and street smarts. If you want me, I'll be in my office. A bottle of whiskey. Getting drunk. Just a normal day for him, then. Now, where's that pie? Oh. And, um, you are? Lord Sputnik of Dixon's. Very well, Your Lordship. What can I do for you? I saw that you are a Bureau of Love. I would like you to teach me all about this human thing called love. Well, why... Uh... I have written a poem. Um, okay. It is called, What is this human thing called love? What is this human thing called love? That beat sex can't get enough. Is it their prime directive? Are they simply defective? What is it exactly? I cannot say. No hard beats in this tin man of grey. Steel. What is this human thing called love? What are the fluids that fly? Oh, thank you. I think I've heard enough. There are five other verses. Yes, I'm sure there are. So, you want me to teach you about love? Yes. Well, let's see. Love isn't something that can be taught exactly. It's like, it's like a fire inside all of us. Well, us humans, anyway. From the day we're born until the day we die. Then fire is the answer. When isn't it? Lots of times. For example, what six times seven? Who wrote The Wizard of Oz? Why do birds suddenly appear? Does it hurt when I do? Yes, you need fire, and lots of it. Then I will start a conflagration within myself at the next available opportunity. You have my gratitude, Meat Sack. Don't mention it. I think I feel the inspiration for another poem coming on. Oh, dear God. I must go now. I cannot wait to experience a human feeling for the first time. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Merrivale's Bureau of Love. I'm Miss Merrivale. Love, Goddess. How may I be of service? Hi, <laughs> I'm Lady Hurtler. Thanks, this is Lady Fanny from Hurtler. National No Murder Week. Even still. Lady, I once swore to the mother of a dying child that I would find that child's killer and avenge its death. Unfortunately, in that case, it was natural causes. But nature's time will come, you'll see. You have to understand, solving murder is a very serious business for our job. And when people come in with crazy stuff during National No Murder Week, well, I really don't think. Crazy? I am not crazy! My husband is a person of all his care. <laughs> Mary Beth? I think you'd better 
to show her to be called on. This week, I'm running a Bureau of Love. So unless you want some advice on how to get back on the dating course following the death of a loved one, then I'm afraid I can't help her. I know what you mean, Mary Bell, but if what she says is true, then there's a corpse to be found. And I, for one, always know. But when there's a corpse, something always stinks. You mean we should investigate? I mean exactly that. Oh, the hero! I'm no hero, ma'am. I'm just John Shay. <laughs> and her trained chimp are drowning in that woman's story, me and my trained chimp will be off solving the case. I object to being referred to as a trained chimp. Oh, duly noted, Watson. Now, what Mary Vale have an advantage over us, knowing all the details of the case? No, we'll know just as much as Mary Vale. I bugged her office. Bugged her office? But then why are you standing with your aunt, uh, ear pressed to a glass case of water stand? No, I literally bugged her office. <coughs> yes, there won't have much time for chatting with those babies on the loose. Right, so where do we go from here? We go and solve the case. How can we solve the case when we know nothing about it? We know enough, Watson. We know the motive. We do? Yes. What you have to think is what sort of person would steal someone's heart? And if you really think about it, you come to one conclusion. It's got to be someone that doesn't have a heart of their own. Who do we know that doesn't have a heart, Watson? Thatcher? This is no time for levity, Watson. No, what we're looking for is a tin man. Just like that one in the documentary we watched last night. That, that was the Miss Dawes home. Yes. A powerful documentary about the lives of midgets, winged monkeys, and soluble women. <laughs> yes. Let's go find our man. Watson? Where are my trousers? You're wearing them. Though. Excellent! The plan is coming together. Ah! What's this, this I espy? A robot out on the street. Christmas has come early. Hey, you there, robot, come here at once. I'm sorry, I do not have time to stop. I am looking to acquire some fire. Ah, trying to burn the body and dispose of the evidence, eh? Well, I am wise to you. Watson, caution. Sly one, eh? Well, we've got ways of dealing with you. Watson, fetch the capture device. You mean the net? Yes. Yes, I do. Stop, Watson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why he thought it would work now. Well, it hadn't when he was standing up. Well, I thought if we just kept hitting him, his resistance would fail. 
but he's obviously made of <coughs> sterner stuff than we thought. He's made of steel, then. Yes. That's what they said about Superman. But I got him to confess, didn't I? No. <coughs> no, Holmes. No. You got a confession from the milkman who was stealing your newspaper, and even then only after you shot out his tires. You hear that, robot? I defeated Superman, and I'll defeat you too. You think you're scared? You don't know the meaning of scared. I do not know the meaning of scared. I feel nothing of your human emotion. I'm <laughs> sure you'd love me to believe that. I do not know the meaning of love. <coughs> human emotion, <coughs> love, installation, progress, 58%. What? Installation, progress, 59%. I have written a poem. Would you like to hear it? I really don't think... Roses are red, violets are blue. 101202. Shall I compare thee to a command line error, or staggered code which breaks the screen blue, or deadly virus my software to assail? Oh, soft, my lady, abort, retry, fail. Oh, Caution, Watson! The cotters of my memory. Replace my physical heart and hardware. My warranty is good for just one year. So least you break this subscription annual, please, my lady, read the manual. Stop, Toad. Yes. Clearly intimidated by my pig <coughs> stare and my zesty interrogation technique. Uh -huh. um, no, no, I, I found the off. Oh, shut up, Watson. <laughs> yes, pile this old tinker toy into old Burlap over there. Maybe if we take him to the scene of the crime, it might just jog his memory. <laughs> Suicide. <coughs> no, don't you see? He has got a massive hole in his chest. Suicide. <laughs> don't you see? I'll tell you what I see. Suicide. He had a point. But <coughs> it's national no murder week. The only solution that makes sense is suicide. Detroit, where I once found a drug dealer pushing crack to preschoolers, punched him so hard in his face, milk came out of his nose. But this is small town England, baby. No man thinks like that. This has obviously been a very traumatic experience for you, Lady Hurtcroft. Suicide is never pleasant, particularly not when it's as brutal and bloody as this. Maybe a, a lie down would help, or perhaps a nice cup of tea. Do you have a maid? Don't talk to me about her! Self-blazing hussy! She's the one that did this! I just know it! You mean this was an assisted suicide? Well, well, well. You know what that means, don't you, John? 
than unless we're living in the Netherlands or certain principalities of Switzerland, a crime is being committed. Exactly. I think we've got to get this made in here. Yes, it's like that documentary we watched about men giving birth. 
You mean Junior? Alien, Watson! Alien! Well, uh, his heart's been removed, obviously resulting in death. Yes. And then only a robot could have done such a thing. Or perhaps a Tyrannosaur. But a robot, a robot like you! Impossible. The first law of robotics states I cannot harm humans. A likely story. I know your kind. That's what you want us to believe. Then you wait until our backs are turned, then bang! You push Watson down the stairs. That was you, Holmes. Shh! <laughs> Quiet, Watson. <laughs> Just dust the prints. Robots don't have prints, Holmes. Oh, a sly one, eh? Well, the body is proof enough. Oh, and what's this? Trail of blood. Where did it lead, Watson? To the door, Holmes. Robot, stand by the door. As you command. And there you have it. A trail of blood leading straight to the killer. <laughs> yes, I think it's about time we uh, got this on the roof rack and paid a visit to Scotland Yard. <laughs> Committed Marybelle? 
After all, it's National No Murder Week, so I can't be murder. Suicide isn't a crime anymore. And so it's just one man who couldn't bear to live without the love of his life. No, Mary Vale, I don't think a crime's been committed at all. But what about the assisted suicide, John? What about the stolen heart? You twisted fiend, you're coming with us! Yes, it was a tough case, but I cracked it wide open, putting those Merryvale and Clicho fellows to shame. <laughs> Sir, you've been talking for five minutes, and you still ain't told me what crime has been committed. Oh, right. Uh, well, this robot here, he stole the Baron's heart. So a robot killed a Baron? Are you sure you ain't been drinking, sir? Of course not. I didn't drink. Lots of heroin. But not alcohol. <laughs> On a weekday. But anyway, we have the murderer right here. One murderer. That's proof enough. Wait a second, did you say murderer? Yes. Right, you. Sling your hook. Oh, I've had enough of your kind. Don't you know it's National No Murder Week? Oh, you people coming in here with your, oh, I just stabbed up a load of OAPs, or my husband has just killed everyone on a bus. Well, I, for one, am sick of it. We have the victim's corpse right there. You can't leave that here. But he's got a hole in his chest. Only a robot could have done that. Suicide. Murder. It's National No Murder Week. Now, if you'll please clear off out of Scotland Yard and... Hang on. That corpse ain't got an arm. The robot took it. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Robot, you are hereby charged with stealing from the dead, theft of one heart, and wasting police time by bringing dead bodies to our attention during National No Murder Week. Do you have anything to say? No, no, don't worry about that. I extracted a confession from him over on the way over here. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. Oh, right oh, let's hear it then. Sorry, I haven't got my readers. Could you do the honours, Watson? We don't wear readers, Holmes. Just make the confession, Watson. Is it because you lack the faculties and processing power of robot kind? Your squidgy organic components contain some hidden programming defect. If your five puny senses are to be overcome by irrationality such to force you to write bad poetry, then why can you not appreciate my hefty iambic pentameter skills? I would be so good at love, but alas, for I am a cold, unfeeling machine who exists only to legislate and crush humans beneath my mighty feet. And there you have it. We <coughs> failed to see how that's a confession, sir. Your robot here, he may be a couple of lines short of a sonnet, but a murderer? But he freely admits to crushing humans between his mighty feet. Look, maybe it lost something in the translation. I must apologise for Watson's rendition. Right, well... Now you put it like that, I kind of see what you mean. we better get this fellow behind bars before he starts his crushing. Excellent. <laughs> Finally, all the spoils are mine. I wish Mary Vale and Cliché were here. I'd love to rub their faces in it. Take him away, boys! Uh, no boys, I'm afraid. Just me here this week. We've caught the killer of Baron von Herzog. Hello. Hello, Holmes. What are you doing here? Solved the case of the wardrobe or the toilet yet? How did... That was just the... Watson, have you been gossiping again? No. I won't let you get to me this time, Mary Vale. Because for this time, I got here first. It was I who find the villain. It was I that brought him here. Hmm. Where is he then? Did he escape? I hate it when that happens. No. He's just been led to the prison by the police chief inspector himself. You know, Holmes, uh, that was the desk sergeant. And Lord's button was only taken to the holding cells, not to prison. 
Sputnik. Oh, Holmes, you fool. It was the maid. We caught her, robot, red-handed. Yeah, they were all covered in blood. You can't begin to have even nearly as much evidence as we do, Holmes. We can so. Okay, we'll just have to see who had the upper hand when we get to the court. Holmes, you know I'm in no fit state to play basketball, and it's used as a means of determining guilt is highly questionable. Who was it said that the maid was guilty in the first place? Who was it who made us question her? 
You! No, John. Lady Hertzog. <coughs> My God. Well, at least she's throwing the cells with the robot. She'll make her easy to catch. Although, if you just murdered your husband, why would you come to a police station? It's the last place anyone would think of looking. No. She's here to destroy the other. <laughs> Especially your woman is difficult. You're going to feel pain, pain like you've never felt before. It will hit you when you least expect it in those quiet moments. The hardest thing will be learning how to forget. Memory erased. Damn all that. Well, Maryvale, it's been quite an eventful day. Oh, well, yes. Despite it being. National no murder week, we've managed to solve a murder, even if the killer didn't get away. Still, we were at least able to spread love and happiness to a few good people. And robots. Lots of they took the death of May pretty well, I thought. Well, he's a robot. He feels none of our human emotions. One thing still bothers me, though. What's that? A crime has gone unavenged. That hasn't happened since the day my darling wife was brutally gunned down. Oh, if you're going to tell that story again, then I'll need a drink. Ha <laughs> drink, excellent idea we should go to. The pub! <laughs> what about the pub? I never brought those boozy hounds to justice. They're right, right there, right now, bringing their own wave of tipsy terror to the city. Very well. I feel I must act. But uh, what if someone comes into the office needing some advice about love or something <coughs> like that? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. A certain someone has volunteered for the rest of the week to try and learn a little bit more about love. Hello, I'd like some help with my love life, please. Good, I have written a poem. <laughs> 